TFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials trading up 331, Nasdaq's up 225, S&P's up 58. That's a gain inside the Nasdaq, folks, of 1.7%, 1.3 in the S&P, and 1% in the Dow Industrials. Gold, gold, con gold contract up trading up about $10.60 at 1817 an ounce. We have silver up 40 cents, $20.75 an ounce. Light sweet crew down $245, $91.86 a barrel, notes and bonds. 10-year note. Up five ticks, 119.08, 30-year up 20 at 140.19. And King Dollar, check it out. So the divergence is huge out here. King Dollar, 545, 105, 634. Euro out here. What? Sorry about that. There we go. Euro is at 102. Uh, the yen is trading 133, and the British pound is at 121 to 1 US dollar. We get over and take a look at the S&P. And bottom line, folks, is that... Now, the run has been cool and it, and it marched away. This is not what you want to see if you're bullish. And what it is, folks, is this. You know, bottom line, you know, S&P yesterday, uh, SPY did 59 million. Well, you're at 32. 32, we're going into 144. <laughs> yeah, you heard that right. So, pretty intense there. The Q's are the same way, okay? Now, what we're going to have is this. That the cool thing on the weekly, on the weekly, the composite is still going to come in. You know, we were talking about the composite a lot yesterday. Well, first, let's talk about the Q's. Q's don't have it either. Q's did $45 million yesterday, gave it up a price. You're testing out here with 25 right now, probably do 35 More important, though, we were talking about, I was talking about, the composite. And the composite came in with volume yesterday. Now what's happening, okay, we did 5.7 billion yesterday, which is awesome, okay, because the 5.7 billion, uh, where is it? Put this up for you so you can see this thing. Okay, here we go. So the 5.7 billion was going back to May 4th, which was 5.6. Well, you can see what's happening today. Now you're testing that with 3.6. So on the weekly, it'll be all right. The daily, it's not there, man. That's the bottom line. And this is uh, about as deviant as you get. And I've, yeah, anyway, you get the gist of it. The gist of it is that this market's getting tired. Uh, the deviant part of the markets, of course, is that, um, you know, you have all of this going forward today. And this dollar wants to test the underside of the channel line that it broke. And I suspect next week we're going to come right back up and you're going to test that underside. And that's selling pressure. That wasn't selling pressure today, though. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.